that high? Yes. The tray, wow. Y, flex. Uh, the level sale, do you like it? Is the insides only audible? Like, yep. how are you kind of operating here? What are you looking to beat when you go sure. to this? Like, when sure. Do you so, I audible into this about 99% of the time. But if I do come out on a play, it'd come out on level sales. But we'll show you here. We'll show you here. Delicious playbook, JBC double stack. All right, so what's great about this is that this play right here, without making any adjustments, can put heavy stress on your opponent to defend this right flat. Like, it's that's just there for you. I mean, we know how good that table flat is. And with the alignment of this formation, it, the right flat is where your opponent is going to first take away the resources. Because there's not a ton of guys over there. Really, the only route that can really hurt you is the table route. And there's not a lot of routes that get to that spot. Mm -hmm. So that's usually the first place that you take away a resource to defend the rest of the formation. Like, yeah, you could take that guy and pull him in the middle of the field to try and give you extra inside zone support, right? Because the inside zone from this formation is really effective. I guess. If I'm not on the sticks, it's probably pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, and kind of what birthed the idea of as going to this formation was watching Spot Me play this past weekend. Um, he used the gun bunch uh, from the the gun bunch tight end from the Colts playbook. So I saw a lot of things he was doing, mm -hmm. and I felt, hey, I know a formation that I can do a lot of what he's doing in my playbook. Um, so I won't talk the specifics here, uh, but gun tray Y flex. PA crossers, this play, really effective. You had the speed out to the tight end. Does that beat man? Speed out? Oh, yeah. Go to man. Like, even though... I'm saying it's longer than a regular yeah. one, you know, yeah. traditional. Yeah. Boom. Of course it beats man. Yeah. That's Little. why it's really good. So, that's really effective about that. Uh, if you go to a cover two, uh, guys that have been watching the stream recently, they'll know about the Uber Dot. The Uber Dot, really effective. Uh, downfield. You get a lot of different passing options out of this. Uh, you're not in cover two, so that doesn't defeat the whole purpose. Uh, but if you audible down to cover two, oh, I'm I'm I I done Ben in cover two. You chose. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm here. It's here for the taking, bro. You weren't in cover two on that. I play. wasn't. Maybe no, I just you, you were in cover two, man. Maybe you made a premeditated read before the snap. Oh, did I? Did you snap of the ball? Uh, but what I like about this, you get time in the pocket, and it just becomes a straight Uber dot downfield. That like that's really difficult to defend, even if you're in a cover three. And then cover four doesn't really matter. Would you recommend holding A there so you make sure you drag your feet? Yeah, absolutely. And, and actually get the touchdown. Absolutely. Yeah. Just I'm just I made you fumble. Did you? I confused you before the snap. And then you know you got an incomplete pass right there. Here it is again. It looks good. But you also have a bunch of other reads. So say if that gain route does get taken away, uh, you have the underneath little option right there, the playmaker and then I love that deep cross right there like if you do get time and their user guy is going to go to that eventually and then what ends up happening is you get this deep cross that just gets to a nice tender part of the field that like is very difficult to account for uh, you got the two streaks pulling deep and then say you are on Clay Matthews and you run to that to Ted and Gin route I got that now secondary crossing pattern wide open uh, so mm. the two routes that are really difficult to defend downfield uh, is what I really like about it. And then you mix in with the motion. You go to a play that can attack man to man. It has a lot of underneath passing options. So you motion over Ted Ginn. I put him on a quick slant. As soon as he passes Olsen, snap of the ball. I can go to the right flat. And, and you kind of lost him there. Ooh. You kind of lost him there. Am I right? Yes, because it's kind of similar to like the gun split close. Mm -hmm. When you motion out the guy on the left, put him on the slant, and then mm -hmm. the table comes wide open. Yep. So here it is again. Teddy ball game gins. Here it is. That time he didn't win, but you, you have the drag, you have the slant, the quick out, and then you have the, the angled post. So you have four routes that beat man. This is a formation that you think, okay, it's probably not gonna be great for attacking man-to-man -man coverage, but it actually works really well. Uh, and combo that with, hey, you have one of the best ways to run the ball in the game with inside zone. Uh, so you use the motion and you can have success running the ball uh, from it. And don't forget, you also have the inside sail, which you're coming out in. Sale, good play. Yeah, so it's a good formation. All Great right. formation to audible into. This is a change of pace formation, right? I'm coming out in gun bunch. And I want to run gun bunch. I want to feel comfortable in gun bunch. Inside cross, four verticals, uh, PA post, and then I then I audible into this. Um, I've been having a lot of success getting back to the roots of how we used to play, which was like you have your audible set. Um, and I've been audibling to and from formations more, and, and it feels good. It feels right. It gives you a tempo and allows you to get uh, comfortable. So you can call hurry up? Not hurry up, but I'll come out and gun bunch, quickly read the, the formation, and then I audible to what I want to go to. And, and it's I know my audibles. Like This is a formation that has really good quick audibles, right? So 
Inside Zone's one. The four verticals is another. Ooh. And then you have PA Crossers is, yeah. all, is this one. Yeah. So it's a good formation to come out in um, to, to audible too. Nice, nice. Now, do you ever go under center from this playbook? Wildcat, if I want to go on, I mean, most under center but I go it's got, to. I mean, I'm just saying it's got a couple. Yeah, it's, it's got, got a little nice more spots. single back, but like. It looks cool. It looks like a formation I would want yep. to use, but then, but then you actually find value. Yeah. So let's take a look. What's the run people are running? Uh, right, the halfback dive. And they just motion a guy. And it's go. really effective. Yeah. So 